Hey, welcome to Enjoy the Journey Ultimate Edition. What? So excited for you. Congratulations on getting this. This is going to make your life a lot easier going through this process. So yeah, give yourself a little gold star because anytime you do something that's just like stretching you outside of your norm, I like to give myself just a little, it's like a pat on the back. It's a nice little imaginary gold star. If your spouse is the one that got this, give them the gold star. Just gold stars for everybody. Gold stars. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun with this. This really is about enjoyment. This is about having fun. It's about just enjoying your family. Each part of this is a date. So it's like a date. It's a hangout. And that's the cool thing about this. And with the Ultimate Edition, we laid out, we really kind of thought through the whole process and said, how can we make this easier? How can we make this easier for you? That way you're not having to create so much that you can focus more on creating those fun opportunities together. Yeah. That way at the end of this, you're able to walk away going, yes, you've got a plan and it's a plan that you can keep going. And it's one that to where now you really are, you're creating so many fun opportunities, so many fun hangouts with your family that fits within your schedule that you can make happen. It's manageable. So it's just one of those things. Now you're being intentional on creating these opportunities and you're seeing the benefits in your relationships. Yeah. Like for us, it's something that we knew we knew was so valuable and so important, but it's, it would get like complicated or we would make it hard on ourselves and we just couldn't make it happen until we started putting certain things into place. And so that's what we're doing here is making it where it's easy and practical for yeah. you to do. Yeah. And kind of just, just a brief story before we get into this. I was doing some soul searching a while back. I don't know if you've ever been in a job or in a career and you, and you, you just start thinking and reflecting. And it's like, what am I doing? You know, and that, that's kind of, I, I, I knew God was really stirring my heart because we had taken a, a course a long time ago and they had started asking, well, what, you know, do you like what you're doing? And I had never asked that before. And then I started thinking, I'm like, well, okay, no, you know, I really don't enjoy what I'm doing. And so that led me into some soul searching. It's like, okay, well, what, what, what's, am I passionate about? What fires me up? What really, you know, what, what, what drives me? And so as I started doing that and thinking through that for years, it led me to really go back and get more knowledge, more education, things of that. But through the whole part of it, I started looking back and say, but what God, what, where am I supposed to be? And I remember just really having a lot of moments with them and crying out, mm -hmm. just saying, this doesn't sound like where I'm supposed to be here. That doesn't sound like where I'm supposed to be. I'm researching. I'm just show me where, where, where am I supposed to go with this? You know, and here we are, we're managing our family and, and we've got this blended family and we've got that issue and challenges and just over and over and over again, along with career challenges and all these things. And I'm just like, where show me, but it was in that quiet moment one day, I'll never forget it. But he just stirred inside my heart. Now, if you've ever felt God speak to you, it's not like this loud, audible voice like I wished he would. <laughs> you know, it's, it's always that gentleness. It's that mm -hmm. just inner inside you and inside your mind, inside your heart. And it's just that gentle whisper. And I remember him saying, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, all right. You know, I, I processed that for a little bit. And I'm like, you know, if you told me exactly where I'm supposed to be at the end of my life or the career or whatever, I would go full focus into that. I would run to it and I'd push everybody out of my way and I'd be headed straight to that. And I would miss the journey getting there. And that really brought a revelation to me and to us about our family. So much in our family, we want to have that perfect family, yeah. which is not attainable. There is no perfect family. I hate to bust your bubble. But the thing is, is so much we want to see our family get to this point or mm. to get to that point so much that that we're pushing everybody, even our family sometimes out of the way to try to get everybody there. Yeah. I know for me and my motherhood, like my whole goal, if you ask, like, 
you know, what is your goal? And it was to raise successful children. So all my decisions and everything were based on trying to get them to, like Randall was saying, to that end result of being a successful child. And I was solely focused on that and what steps needed to happen to make that happen, that each day, I just, I just took life way too serious. Yeah. But it was really that revelation of we got to enjoy mm -hmm. where we are now. We got to enjoy that next step. We got to enjoy today. We've got to enjoy when tomorrow happens. We got to enjoy that day. Mm -hmm. And it's really trying to refocus and say, you know what? It's not about the end destination. If you're a believer, I, I hope you are. But if you're a believer, we know the end destination. And that's with Jesus in heaven. Eventually we're getting there. That's our end game. But today we got to enjoy the journey. We got to enjoy our family. And what we found is that through all the blended family challenges that come up because they will even non-blended families have their challenges, but we just seem to have a little more sometimes, but we keep focusing on those and we focus and we focus and we focus so much that that's all we see is problems. But it wasn't until we learned that if we can start shifting that focus and start seeing more joy, creating more opportunity to have fun together, all the problems started fading away. We could be upset with each other, but whenever we come together and we do a game, a, a silly game or something like that, all of a sudden that didn't matter anymore. We're having fun. We're seeing the good sides of each other. And that was healing to our relationships. So that just really led us to create this enjoy the journey process. And, and that, that this whole thing has been just our whole walk of how do we enjoy it more? So we spelled it out in this five-part process to where now this gives us the ability to shift that will, to shift our focus to where now we can create more fun opportunities, more healing to our relationships. Because when we do that, we start seeing less problems. And that's yes. the amazing thing about it. So uh, that, that was just kind of sharing our hearts for a moment. We want to take just a second to give you how this is going to, how this will work for you, kind of the best ways to do it. If you see in the members area, we have the we have a lot of the resources up front. So you'll want to go to those resources one by one, download those or print them out. We have it to where you can do it either way. You can download them or you can print them out, whatever works better for you. Okay. But you want to go through those and then you want to start video one and then go to video two and video three, four or five, right? So you kind of do that. And then at the very end, we have the audios available for you. Yeah. If you'd rather listen to them, Hallelujah. you've got that ability. Yeah, yeah, that makes it so much easier. It does. Sometimes I want to listen to it while I'm doing the yard or whatnot. A lot of times, kind of the way that we like doing things like this is we watch them first and then we listen to them again. You know, then we'll get the audio. We'll listen to it over and over again because we start picking up things that we missed the first time. So these videos, you may want to go back several times just to really understand because some of these may be a little newer concepts to you. So it's kind of like exposing you to it a little bit. Then when you go back, you pick up more. So just how, however, however you learn, we all learn different. So that's the cool thing about this. You've got it. It's yours use it, but it's going to be great. So I just want to walk down the resources real quick. So the first resource is the Facebook group. We have a private Facebook group that you're going to go in that you that you're going to go into. We hope you go into it, but we give you the link and everything in there for you to join that. That way, this isn't just uh, you go through it and then you never hear from us again. We want to stay connected. This is a great group of blended family love and support that we can go in there. We can ask questions. We can share wins. And it's just a great way to stay connected. So be sure that you take full access of joining our private Facebook group. So that's a way just so we can stay connected here through it and after it. Okay. And then the next thing that you're going to have is you're going to have the resource worksheets. So they look like this. So whenever you get that, uh, you can print that out. Now, I want to just run down all these resources we kind of talk about in video one. We go more in depth in the whys and things like that and the power behind each one. We really just want to expose you to this first. This is going to be the resource. Now, this resource is basically for worksheets. Okay. We're going to share our screen here in a minute, but the four worksheets are going to look like this. Okay, the first two that you're going to have are going to be that kind of that teal color. These are the ones that you can print out multiple copies to. Or if you don't want to print out multiple copies, if you want to do it electronically, 
If you want to keep it on your device, we have it here on the shared screen. So you're going to download it and these are fillable. So you'll be able to fill them out on your computer or on your phone. So either way, but what you'll do is you'll download it and it'll kind of look like this. If you're on a Mac, if you're on a PC, it may look a little different. Uh, it can also look, maybe it looks more like this, right? So it can look either way, but the concept is the same. And we're just kind of going over this real quick. That way, if you're not super familiar with computers and things like that, then we just want to be able to show you a quick way to be able to do this. If you're really familiar, then you're going to hear this be like, yeah, I got that. And then uh, we'll move on here in just a minute. But what you'll do is you'll want to duplicate this. So you'll take that and you'll duplicate it. That way you've got two copies. And then you'll rename each one. So you'll rename one and you'll rename it his or hers, whichever way. So his, and then you'll go to the next one and you'll rename that hers. And so we got hers. So now you got two copies. You got a his and you got a hers. <laughs> so the thing with these is what you're gonna do is uh, the first two parts, part one and part two, you're gonna need these. The teal colored ones, you'll print out or you'll have the two copies, right? You'll have a his and a hers. So the first one is the explore your interests. You'll do this in part one, but you're gonna have a copy and your spouse is gonna have a copy. So this is gonna be your interest, right? We're gonna talk about dating yourself and things like that. So this is gonna be for you. And then you're gonna have the second part is exploring your kid's interest. Now this is just for your biological kids. So what happens is like, if I have four kids, it's a lot of kids, if I have four kids coming into the marriage and they're my biological kids, this only has a place for three. So you're gonna to wanna to print two copies of this. Right. Or you're going to want to duplicate and make it to where you have more because I'm going to put my kid's name, each one of my kid's name there. And then that's the column for that kid. Right. So now if my wife is going to have a copy, she's going to have her copy as well. Say she only has one kid. So she's only going to need one copy because she's going to fill in the name of her child. And then that's all of the space that she's going to use. Right. So that's kind of the way that these first two, the one with the teal color, that's, that's how you do these. You're going to want one for you and one for your spouse. So you got that. And then the other two, you're only going to use one copy of that because this is going to be your final thing. You're going to take everything that you've learned from, you know, that, that you've talked with your, you explored yourself, you talked with your spouse, you talked with your kids, stuff like that. These two are going to be like, you're finding all the common interests and putting them here. These are going to be your reference sheets. So you're going to use these in part four and part five, but you're only going to use one set of these. That way, now these are your things that you'll plan from, you'll start adding to later in life, things like that. So that's kind of the breakdown of the worksheets. It makes it really easy because if you didn't have this, you're having to create it, you're having to come up with your columns and lists and things like that, keeping it on your paper, keeping it organized. We do it just in this right here. So that's the cool thing about having these worksheets. We really did want to make this easy for you. So we spelled that out. So that's, that's going to be the worksheets. You'll be able to do that. The next is the prayers and family hangout script. So you're going to have that. Go ahead and make sure that you download that, print them out. But this walks through each part. It's got a prayer. If you're newer to prayer, then this can guide you through it to where you can just read it and that can be your prayer. If you're like a prayer warrior, then you can sit there and just take it as a reference and just kind of kind of go along that prayer and then you're going to add to it and stuff like that. But before each part, before you do each one of these parts, we always say pray, go to God and just pray to him to, to help you through that part to show you more stuff. So it's really cool. We walked through that. And then the we have a bonus for our part three is the family hangout. Now on that one, you're going to have your whole family, your kids and everything there. If you don't know what to say there, we got it scripted for you. So you can do that. You can read the script beforehand and just kind of have it in your heart and then go off that. Or you can just use it as a guide for the family hangout. So it's really cool. Made it easy. That way it doesn't. It's not one of those things that you're dreading. We want this to be so easy. So you're going to have that resource. Then the next one that you'll go that you'll see is the five family games. So the five family games you're going to have here, we have five games for you. These are blended mm -hmm. family specific games to where some games cause division, right? I mean, I'm thinking of Monopoly. 
I'm thinking of all the times that somebody's flipped the board over because they got so mad. We don't want division. We got enough of that, right? We want to take the division away from our families. So these are just five games that you can have fun. You can also use one of these games in part three with family hangout because we talk about having an icebreaker game. Use one of that because that really sets the vibe to where you're having fun. And whenever we all oh, seriously, we did a this or that game mm-hmm. with our these are now young adults. We did one of these, this or that. We were all dead in the water. Like we were tired. It was late. We already ate dinner and nobody I was wanted not a to happy move. camper because <laughs> I wanted everybody to be joyful and having fun. Yeah. And we weren't, but it was like, let's do this. And everybody, like, oh, I don't want to do it. but we did it. We got them up. And whenever we did at the end of it, we were laughing so much. We were learning more about each other. Yeah. It really was at the end of it. It totally changed the vibe in the room. So that's the cool thing about these games. And that's why we say in part three, do an icebreaker game first. Because depending on your the age of your kids, you might have some trying to fight you. <laughs> be like, no, I don't want to be there. But whenever you start doing this, it really sets a fun tone. You have a lot. You have a blast. You really do. So you got that. That made it easy for you. So in that part three, you, you don't even have to think about games. Now, if you have a game in mind that you'd rather play, do it, right? We just want you to have that resource. And then the next thing you're going to have is you're going to have the, or enjoy the journey fridge calendar. Now, this is a really cool calendar. We recommend printing this out. And if you don't have a printer, that's cool too. You can, you can actually uh, send these to Office Depot, Office Max, any of the office supply stores and print them out for like, you know, cheap. Like you'll spend less than $5 to print these things out. So if you don't have a printer, it's not a problem. You know, do something like that. I think Walmart does printing and things like that Yeah, like the public library, you can put some money on a card and print really, really cheap. So the cool thing about the fridge calendar is at the end, part five, now we help walk you through taking everything you learn and now putting it to action. We love having a calendar on our fridge because that kind of keeps us, it keeps us together to where now we all can kind of see it. We, you know, our kids can see it, we can see it, but we all stay kind of connected. But the cool thing about this calendar is that we leave it open for the year. So you can use, you can reprint these year after year after year. And then you get to fill in you know, what that month looks like. You get to fill in the the dates or the days and everything. And then you get to put your plan there and then you can go hang that up on your fridge. That way everyone can see it. Everyone's in the know. Really cool. Really good way to do that. If you have a calendar system already, then that's cool. You know, we kind of walk you through how that looks. But if you don't, we made it easy for you. That way that's not a hang up for you. It's right there. You got it. So that is the calendar. You can, like I said, you can use that year after year. The last thing that you have is the family scriptures. So we have this uh, in the ebook. Whenever you read that, or if you got the audio version, when you listen to that, we reference a lot of scripture in there, which is such great scriptures for our families. And whenever we pray scripture over our families, it's powerful. Yes. You know, God's word is is full of truth, is full of, of just so much wisdom. And that helps build that faith in us when we're speaking his words over our family. And this is something that we kind of learned along our journey. And we learned the power behind it and the power that it did in our family. So just being able to pass that along, but you have that and it is not perforated, but it has a place where you can cut each one out. Cut them out. Cut, cut them, them out. Somewhere. Put them somewhere. You know, we say, you know, in your bathroom, uh, on the mirror, you know, put it up there. That way, when you're brushing your teeth every day, hopefully you're brushing your teeth. Please brush your teeth. You don't need to tell them to brush their teeth. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking back to our kids. And it's like, and you know, as parents, you're probably like, oh, no, I got to tell them all the time to brush your teeth. <laughs> you know? So, but, you know, so someplace that you're seeing it all the time, we recommend just starting with one. Take Look at them and just the one that speaks to you the most. Cut that one out, put that one up and hang it up as long as you need it. We've had scripture written on our window for over a year, just because every time we see it, we're believing it, we're saying it, we're speaking it over our family. Mm -hmm. And, but now it's in our heart so much that we know it, you know, and that's the cool thing about doing this is now you're not just seeing it, but you're bearing God's words in your heart. That way, when the troubles come, 
you've got his words as your weapon. So that is a really cool thing and a really cool way to do that. So you're going to have that. So those are the resources you'll get. You'll see those in the members area first, and then it goes into video one. And video one, we kind of, like I said, we, we give a briefing over these resources. We go a little more in depth with it. So we'll do that. Then we get into part one and we walk you through part one. Then you'll, uh, you can do it multiple way, multiple ways is you can, do, watch part one video and then plan and go do part one. And then you can come back and then watch part two, or you can watch them all and really get a feel for it and then start going through the process and maybe watch them again and then go do it. However you want to do it. That's it's totally up to you and what yeah. works for you. But we do recommend, you know, our recommendation is watch the first one, plan it, go do it. And then come back, watch video two, plan it, go do it, come back, watch it so on and so on. That way, you know, you'll do it right. Because it's so easy for me to kind of go through something, get all the information, and then not go back and do it. Right. The only way that you're really going to be able to shift that wheel to have that fun to make that create more fun opportunities so that you see your relationships just healed, healthy and whole mm -hmm. is by actually doing this. So whenever you do it at the end, you're going to walk away with such a plan and you're going to see the fruit from it. It's going to be so great. We're so excited. We really are. We're so excited for we you. Are. So do a dance. yeah, want to do a little dance. And, and if you follow us on our podcast or anything like that, then, you know, we're, we're kind of goofy. We love having fun. Fun has just really become the, the theme for us. Sure. We have our hard times, but it's the fun that bounces us away from that. So it's sometimes we have some really challenge, challenging moments. We're like, you know, we might get knocked down for a little bit for a day or two, but it's, it's always that joy that tries to pull us back up. So, you know, it's refocusing, right? And that's what it's all about. So listen, we love you guys. We're so excited for you and your family because we know at the end of this, you're going to have such a plan of creating fun moments together. It's going to totally change your family and you're going to have such a fun dynamic in your family. Your kids are going to love it. So yes. it's going to be great. And who does not want that for their family? That's right. So listen, so excited. Go ahead and dive in. Go grab your resources. That's you. You got the ultimate edition. Go grab it. Get connected in the Facebook group and we will see you there. Love you guys. Bye.